I was just got done crying or whatever, but no, I just really took off my mascara from earlier and my eyes are burning. I don't know why. Normally they don't. welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a natural well, everyday makeup look it's a makeup look I wear to school um, just to wear around the house or just to go out <laughs> um, yeah I did one on my channel a year ago now um, but yeah so I'm going to be doing another one on this channel and hopefully you guys like it up and like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to see more from me and I love you guys so so much and let's get on with the video okay so I already did my eyebrows I don't really like doing them on camera um, I know my last um, makeup tutorial whatever you want to call it um, I didn't do my eyebrows I never used to really do my eyebrows until like recently um, I still don't like the way I look with eyebrows but I wear them because like I don't know I just feel like it's a big part and I feel like I look weird without them on now nobody wears makeup without eyebrows anymore it's just it's not a thing um, so yeah so I already did my eyebrows um, I am going to put my hair up though so the foundation doesn't get in my hair And I just put it in like a bun in the back. Hopefully that's gonna fall out. Anyways, so the first thing that I do before doing my makeup, I have my makeup box right here. Plus this stuff that I bring sometimes along with me to school or to like if we're going on like a long road trip or like if I need to touch up my makeup, just yeah, I just bring it with me. So that has most of like my mascara, um, concealer, some of my brushes, not all of them. But anyways, <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice. Anyways, um, so I basically, um, sometimes today I'm gonna moisturize my skin because it is looking a little, um, what you call it? It does have cream on it. Um. So I am going to moisturize my cream. I got this little sample from Ipsy. I tried um, that company one time. I actually liked it, but I just didn't feel like... Um, sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. I didn't really like how um, for the money I was paying, I was only getting like a few items. I just I didn't like that. And I didn't want to upgrade to like the 50 product, I believe it was. The $50. So I just canceled it. So anyways, I just took it on my finger and I'm just going to place that all over my face. And if you guys see me looking away, it's because I have a mirror right here. But yeah, so it's basically, it's basically moisturizing. Oh, I forgot to take off the mascara that I put on earlier. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna rub this all over and then I'm gonna take my mascara off because I forgot to take that off from earlier. And I just realized that a little of this goes a long way, so you don't really need a lot. I really like to put it in like the side of my nose because that's where it gets dry the most. Or like anywhere you guys get dry, you should put it. It really does help. It doesn't make the makeup look cakey in that certain spot sometimes. Okay, I'm going to take off my mascara that I had on from earlier, and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I look like I just got done crying or whatever, but no, I just really took off my mascara from earlier and my eyes are burning. I don't know why, normally they don't. Hold on. I don't know why they're burning. Normally, if I do moisturizer, I don't do primer because it's basically the same thing. So, I'm not going to do primer, but normally the primer that I use, 
which is almost gone. It was only a, oh my god, there's a tear. <laughs> um, it's empty, well, basically, um, and it's the only primer I will ever freaking use for the rest of my life till I die. It's the MAC, well, MAC primer. It's so good. But the foundation that I use is Clinique. It's so good. You can use it as a concealer. Or you can also use it as a foundation. It's a foundation and concealer, two in one. Um, I use it as foundation. I don't use it as concealer. I don't find the need to since I use it. I will never use another foundation brand again. When I tell you that, I mean it. Um, it's full coverage. You can go kind of full coverage and then full coverage. I have the full coverage. Um, I just find that it's really a lot better. Um, it is $30, so it is a little pricey. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to people that don't have a lot of money for makeup, but if you do, this is the foundation you should use. It's really good. You can find it at Ulta Beauty or Sephora. No sponsorship or anything. I'm just saying it's really good. So yeah. Oh, and plus it comes with a stick. So I know you guys are saying, are probably saying that that shade is really tan for you. Well, guess what? I like being tanner. So it's not your face. You don't have to worry about it. And no, I don't look like a clown after I have it on because concealer comes in place. Not only that, um, what was I gonna say? Not only that, I blend it to my neck. Some people that use freaking tan foundation don't blend it to their neck and they just look a complete clown and look like they're wearing a mask. So, that's not me. By the way, guys, it is Christmas Eve. My boyfriend got me this bracelet. It's a special bracelet I'm gonna forever wear. You're supposed to wear them forever because it's like a promise thing, but like I really love it, so I'm gonna literally wear it forever. Okay, guys, I can't stand doing that. I can't stand um, using a foundation brush. I don't understand how people can do it. I like using my beauty blender better. I feel like I work with it more better. I don't know, that's just me. That's my opinion, so I'm just gonna switch back to it. but clearly I'm not done um the one thing I like about this foundation though I will say is that um you can build it up oh, you can build it up so what, what that means is is if you don't think you have enough on you can literally put more on and it won't look like you just put more on it'll just look like oh I just regularly did my makeup I'm like hello <laughs> So it won't look like too much because I'm realizing that I didn't put enough foundation on or the brush. That's why I don't like using the brush sometimes. The brush soaked up most of my foundation, um, which was a big freaking waste. I should never try it. So yeah. phone or a camera after I'm done doing my foundation it really looks really pale but it's really not so the next step that we do is we do concealer concealer is my best friend because I use oh I didn't even tell you the shade that I used in my foundation I used lin, linen I have the other one that I used to use because it's not empty and this one's really pale um, I used to use Breeze. I also got my Smashbox um, concealer from there too, which was really good because I loved it. Um, and it literally stays on you for 24 hours. Like, And I got it in the shade Fair Neutral. Um, you can get it in all different shades depending on your skin color. I got this one, not depending on my um, skin color. I got it because I like my under eyes a lot brighter than anything else. So... I like mine to pop. 
and I'm just gonna go like that. And then we're about to do contour to make yourself look like a skinny queen. <sighs> I'm so weird. Anyways, let's blend this out. See, look how freaking good that looks. Like, it's like, voila. powder and I am going to bake my face like a baker I use a separate beauty blender for this because I don't like my wet one to get powder on it I'm just going to dip it in and then I'm just gonna Set this under my eye, just like that. You go, girl. I love baking. I don't know why. I find it the most satisfying thing out of makeup. This, and I also like to do like eye, like, like um. I also like to do eyeshadow. That's cool too. Um, but today I'm not going to do eyeshadow because I'm doing my everyday makeup and I don't do eyeshadow for my everyday makeup. So yeah. My shirt looks yellow in my ring light, but it's really white. <laughs> Freaking hate that. Okay, so I let my, um, setting powder sit on my face for about, um, I'm going to say three minutes after I'm done doing my, um, contour. I have so much makeup. Look, my grandmother got me last year for Christmas. Oh my god, it's been a year since I've had this. That's crazy. So crazy. So yeah, I'm just going to take my brush. This is for like um, sculpting your face, like to do with powder for my contour. I find it easier to work with. And yeah. I'm just gonna contour my face. Skinny face. It came with this the set that I'm using. Um, I'm gonna. I can't speak. I want to get the Fenty Beauty um, contour stick. Um, I want to try that. I never tried it before. I never tried really a contour stick, except for actually I have. It was like one from like Walmart or something. Um, it worked just as fine. I just I don't know. My aunt normally. Well, my uncle's girlfriend, I call her my aunt. But she normally takes me out Christmas shopping, him and her always, every year. And ever since I was little, my uncle used to do it. But now that he has a girlfriend, um, she does. She comes along too. And, like, she's obsessed with makeup. Like, she's obsessed with makeup. Um, she has um, Jeffree Star's new palette, new collection. I'm so jealous. Um, but, yeah, she's a makeup queen. And her, I believe her cousin or her, one of her family members actually used to know James Charles and actually still talks to him. So that's pretty cool too. Um, she knew him ever since he was in the cover girl industry, like when he first started makeup. <laughs> I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to 
going to just wipe my setting powder off my face because we don't need that anymore. Oh, and what I also do is I also go over my eyes because I just don't like my eyes to look like it has liquid on it and the rest of my face looks matte. And then I just press that into my face. press it into my face so that everywhere looks the same and I also do my neck and I found out that me doing this actually blends out the foundation that I didn't blend on my neck like when I think I did but it looks I don't know I just look so much she gave me like video ideas cuz like I'm like starting to not know any video ideas at all going to now sculpt my face I gotta get more setting powder because this is running out I just go like that it basically like separates like my like when I did my chin to like where I actually did contouring like that and I let it sit for three minutes I don't let this one sit too long because then it really like makes my face look too pale. Well, it doesn't really make your face look pale. It just, I don't know, brightens it. So it does make it look pale, but it's really not. Ooh, this is fun. I think I might try this. This was one of the eyeshadows that came in that Ipsy bag, this bag. This is from Ipsy. This is the first one I've ever gotten. Um, and I don't ever do eyeshadow for my like everyday makeup because like I said I just don't do it um, but I actually really want to try this like the colors in here look so pretty there's like two of them do it yeah I might do this guys it's like a freaking gold like a bronze it's so pretty I don't know if you guys can see. So last year, like I said, my aunt brought me out to make makeup. And I didn't even have my Anastasia Beverly Hill um, highlighter palette for a year yet. Tomorrow, or like this weekend, will mark one year of me having it but I didn't have it for a full year yet right a couple weeks ago and I went to go open it and I was doing makeup and it was like early in the morning and it was her school and you know just getting ready so I open it and my favorite one that I use is completely shattered like just completely shattered and I'm just like no why like why and like I was so upset because that's not cheap like anybody that buys Anastasia stuff knows that that stuff's not cheap to wipe this off now because we don't need it at all okay There we go. See how like well that brings your face together? I like that. And now, we are on highlighter. I normally, sometimes, okay, I go back and forth from using this to this or to this. Um, I've been really using these lately, especially this one. Um, but I want to use this one. I'm going to do my highlighter before I do my mascara. But see, that's what I was talking about. I'm just going to take her out. I'm going to be using this. Yes, these do come out. I'm going to be using butterscotch. I like this one too. So pretty.
more. Yeah, so I did use my Anastasia glow kit. I think I might buy another one just because that one's broken. But I didn't I don't really like it, but I kinda wanna try it right now. The thing is is if I try it, I'm gonna wanna take it off because that's just me. But we're gonna try it. But normally I used to use this. Oh, I used the rocket by Maybelline. Because it's so good. Like, I freaking love it. One of my favorite YouTubers, Savannah Brimer, she uses it and she said she freaking loves it too. mascara although I actually kind of like it in a way um, because like I hate it and I like it I don't know I'm going to keep it keep it I'm going to keep it because um I used it and then I made my eyelashes clumpy and then I got really mad and frustrated as you can tell in the video um, so I stopped basically using it and then I just you put I, I so I used the Tarte mascara and then I didn't like it so I stopped using it I, but I used it on both eyes and I went over it with the rocket and it came out phenomenal like look how good my eyes look I don't know if it's because it's in the ring light but my eyes look so good my eyelashes look so long I'm going to top it off with this lipstick it's so perfect it's so shiny i got it off of um charming charlie it's a um store in the colony center um and like look at that where's my mirror it's so sparkly it's so good my boyfriend doesn't like when i wear it because when he kisses me it goes on him and you know how boys are when makeup gets on them I'm not a really big fan of it. So I hope you guys liked this video. I just took my hair down because why not? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, go subscribe, and do all that good stuff. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!